Hi, my name's Rebecca Woodley. I'm in Year 7 and I entered into the school category and did a high tea for the teachers and staff of Cara Pakenham. Around 45 to 50 teachers attended the high tea and I had to feed them in $100. What I enjoyed most about this project was the day itself. The most challenging thing about this project was um, knowing what food and drink to provide for the teachers, especially with the amount of money we had to use. Uh, if I could do this project again, I'd get my dad to take photos, I'd get a different venue, and I would have more money, so I'd be able to buy more food. What inspired me to do this particular project was I wanted to do something for the teachers. I thought of Mum gave me the idea of doing something for Teachers Day, but when I looked it up, it was on the weekend, so I decided to do a high tea instead. This thing project has taught me how to manage an event, which I didn't really know how to do before. If I could sum up this thing project in one word, I'd say it was challenging. My project won the school award and the overall award. Hi, my name is Kate Little. I'm in Year 7 and I entered the community category. For my project, I am helping children in Moldova get to school. Moldova is the poorest country in Eastern Europe. I did this by allowing middle school students to draw their own designs and give them to me and I would print them on a product. I enjoyed every Friday when I got to go to the reception and collect the orders to see the creativity that Cairo students had. The most challenging aspect was probably when we had to advertise because we had to do it for the right group of students and also to get the orders back in good condition. If I was to do this project again, I would target junior school students because parents would be more willing to order artworks. What inspired me to do this project was I went to Moldova in 2013 and got to help out in the children's camps and got to see how for, um, children were treated in Moldova. I think all children deserve an education. I've learnt that we take so much for granted in Australia and that the Cairo community is willing to help out in a good cause. My name is Holly Waterhouse and I'm in Year 8. For my Think project I experimented with alcohol inks and acrylic flow painting in two different techniques. I made a range of things, I made vinyl record clocks and bowls, resin paintings, acrylic flow paintings and other stuff as well. The part of the Think project that I enjoyed the most was being able to use my creative side in a project. I started my Think project at the start of the year in about January, so it took quite a few months to complete. The most challenging aspect of my Think project was probably once I had poured the resin or acrylic flow paint, sometimes I'd come back later to check on it and then the paint would have shifted completely because the paint keeps moving until it dries. If I was to do this Think project again, I would probably not use the resin technique so much because it's really sticky and unpredictable. I was inspired to do this Think project because I usually do just normal oil paintings and I wanted to try a different aspect of painting. The Think project has taught me to have patience with abstract art because it doesn't always turn out the way I want it to. <laughs> if I was to describe the Think project in one word, it would be challenging. Hi, my name's Lachlan, I'm in Year 8 and I made a plastic bag mat for the homeless to sleep on. Um, the way I made my plastic bag mat is I cut up um, plastic bags into strips and then I used a crochet hook to weave it into a six foot long mat. It took me about maybe like two months but like doing it now and then like watching TV during the ads and stuff. Um, because a couple of weeks before I started doing my project I saw this um, TV thing and it was like the rich went like down into homelessness and like they were felt by like what the homeless felt and so I thought what a good way to you know help the homeless out by doing that. I won the People's Choice Award and so I got the most votes by people who came around and looked at it. The most difficult thing about my project was probably the actual crocheting because when I was crocheting like I might have added an extra stitch and it came out like that and so I had to try and pull it back in. Instead of like cutting bags and then doing a little bit and then cutting bags, I'd probably cut all the bags first and then so I could just focus on crocheting and like not having to do two things at once. My name's Josh McCorriston. I'm in year eight and I did a robot for my thing project. I entered my project in the innovation category. I enjoyed learning how to code and getting frustrated a lot. So there was coding that I had all the basics done and just had to drag them to make them work and uh, coding for the Arduino which is the brain of it that I had to write it all out from scratch pretty much. Most challenging I found was getting the Bluetooth to work and connect and the coding. It was 
fun. It was fun to work with my dad. We had a lot of troubles that we had to get through, but we eventually overcame them together. For the project, I tried to add some other sounds, but it was enough space or budget. So if I had to do it again, I would add sounds. I do think I'll make other robots in the future. I wanted to do a robotic version of something because I did a manual one last year. Decided to do robotic this year. I have learned how to code from the Think Project. Hi, I'm Phil McCarriston. I'm Josh McCarriston's father and I mentored him on the Think Project this year. A uh, lot of time spent with Josh, a lot of time working on the, the actual project. In terms of hours, I'd probably have to estimate close to 100 hours. Working with Josh uh, with his Think Project has been really good for our relationship. It helps him to get a little bit more of who I am and where my skill set is that he doesn't normally get to see. With the Think in particular, the uh, analysing of code for his actual robot, it just it strengthened our relationship in so many ways. It just that he could get to see and, and get different levels of respect for other skills that he might not necessarily see just around the house. So working with Josh on Think, it was great to be able to see him working through uh, detail of more complex components that I don't normally get to see with him in his schoolwork. When it comes to the opportunity to mentor uh, your son or daughter on, on these sort of projects, um, I've done this a couple of times now and I really feel that it's great to be able to uh, pretty much bite off more than you think you can chew at the start because that then makes you both develop and work together. You have to find solutions to issues that you never thought you would have needed to learn about. It's a great experience, a great bonding experience, it's a great learning experience. Although it can be extremely frustrating at times, it's also a lot of fun and we've got a lot of good memories looking back over our time developing this product. My name is Ella Mudford, I am in 8 SRS and I recreated op shop clothes into Disney princess costumes. I made these costumes because we had book week and some of my friends and I decided that we wanted to dress up and so I um, got some op shop clothes and did it. I really enjoyed watching the costumes come together, how they started out as just separate things and then I made them and put them together. The most challenging part was definitely how I had to find the material and I had to search multiple op shops to find it. I would probably spend a little bit more time to find some better materials or I would create another costume. Well, during this process I learnt how to sew and how to um, measure things to put them together. Um, at the start I feel like it would have been time but now it would probably be you really do just have to think about it so think mum sat down with me and taught me how to use the sewing machine and how to draw lines on it so i know where to cut and everything i spent probably about um six to ten hours it really depends on what you count if you count the op shopping or not Hi, my name is Caitlin Ward. I'm in Year 7 and for my THINK project I made a book on the history of the Pakenham campus. Uh, so what is Think Project? Uh, Think Project is a really a look at what it means to be a 21st century learner, where students are able to exhibit their creativity in new ways. And we're doing this not when they are towards the end of their secondary education, but really as they're getting started. They're really still creative in the ways that they look at the problems. Uh, they want to find solutions to any problem that sits in front of them. And that's really what Think Project is. is we want students to identify what is um, some sort of problem or some sort of situation that they think they might actually have a solution for. And they can then go ahead and do the research, do all the work, put it all together and actually demonstrate what it is that they can do. But it's not over the course of a week. And this is where it can become challenging to students. And that's actually the point of it, is it is a challenge. It forces them to think about things in the long term instead of the short term. It's what are the, what's the short term goal that I'm gonna get done in the next fortnight that will allow me to continue rolling through fort by, fortnight by fortnight till I get to the end and they have this amazing product that there was no way they would have been able to do in a week. That is really the goal, is show them their actual capability in solving problems in very unique ways. So for example, 
uh, when we look at innovation. We're looking at kids taking something that is modern day, something they just see around them, and what is a new way that they can actually use it. For instance, we had a student who found a way to take a DVD player, take it apart, and it would actually copy what they would draw. It would then actually then print it. That's innovative. It's looking at something in a completely new and different way. And when we look at the world around us and we think about everything from sustainability, uh, recycling initiatives, uh, being more efficient and effective with what we actually have, uh, that's really what it takes, is people willing to look at a situation and say, okay, it's a DVD player, but what else could it actually be used for? That's, that's really innovation. And so students can choose different categories for their projects creativity, innovation, sustainability, uh, school-related uh, initiatives, or community-related initiatives. It's whatever, whatever they see in the world around them that they want to take a stab at. Like we had this last year, where we have everything from robots to printers to trike bikes made out of old water pump motors uh, to uh, recycled blankets for the homeless to new jerseys for the school, to a new uh, history of the Pakenham campus that is phenomenal and now in our library. Uh, when we step back and we let kids shine, it's really when they can surprise us. So what would it take for a year seven student, eight student, to be successful at Think Project? What this really requires them to do is uh, first do a little bit of research and find something that they're interested in then okay within what they're interested in is there a problem or is there is there a gap or do they want to try to make something new and and this is where a lot of the coaching needs to happen not just from teachers but also from parents that's the first key because there there will be obstacles and that's really the next thing that's required to be successful is that when you hit an obstacle where something doesn't work correctly or you get going and all of a sudden there's a complication. What we know just from basic human nature, if we're not motivated, we're not passionate about something, we're not actually going to do it. Uh, we're going to get a, to a point where we hit an obstacle and then we're just going to back off and give up. And that's why it's so critical that the students choose something that they're interested in. Then it's a matter of, okay, you got to document. When they get to the end and they have to reflect on how they got there, what they've learned, it gives them something to reflect back on. And then they, then they actually see, these are the obstacles that they had to overcome. Challenging. Encouraging. Fun. Challenging. Exciting. Challenging. Time consuming. Intense. Challenging. Fun. Creative. Inspirational. 